sesuai data njenengan. Oke. Okay. Ada banyak yang tanya sebelumnya. Saya pernah ada experience hantu hantu pocong pocong enggak ada. Guys, we've just arrived at the service station for some food. Look at the weather. It's it's still the, the rainy season until maybe kind of mid-March. So, but it does make good content. It makes the, the fog and stuff come in the mountains really beautiful. And um, we're just gonna stop here. They do the best rawon. It's like a kind of black salty beef soup and it is the best here. So we've came, we're, we're like locals here. We come here all the time whenever we're uh, off on trips. But yeah, I mean, you can see the weather just now. This is why I never brought my parrot. Usually I bring my bird when I do the mountains, but in the rainy season and this area here that we're going to is going to be freezing cold. So the mixture of him being wet and cold just isn't good. To, I mean, he could die, you know, so I haven't brought him. But yeah, let's crack on and I'll show you the food here because it is bloody beautiful. For anyone who's never been to Indonesia, just coming here for the food alone is worth it. The herbs and spices that go into every dish are just incredible. So guys, here's the food we've got here. We love this place. This is called nasi, this is called, uh, sorry, rawon. It's like a kind of brown beefy soup. If you look at this, look at the amount of beef you get in there. So if you come to the good restaurants, like this, it's always like lumps of beef. You don't get the fat, which is great. <clears throat> It comes with rice, and I've also ordered a uh, grilled chicken here, which is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. This is tempeh, this is obviously cucumber. This here is like sambal. It's roasting hot. I'm not a spicy guy, so I don't eat it, but I mean, let's try a bit of this chicken so far. Well, it just falls off. Look at that. It's roasting. Let's try it. Oh, honestly, absolutely amazing. The inside is so soft, and then you can see with the skin here, it's all crispy and juicy. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a real barbecue. Mmm, but it's sweet as well. It's made with like a sweet sauce around it, so it's bloody beautiful, and it's really juicy. <clears throat> and then this here is rawon, so the taste of the soup. It's really beefy. Also, Vegetables like tomatoes, um, coriander and stuff, you can taste it in it, but it's really nice. It's not overpowering coriander, it's really nice. Mm. The beef also, it's really soft like a beef stew. How you would do it, you just break off a piece of your rice. Well, that's how I do it. Dunk it in. There you go. Mm. Beautiful. That is the best way to do it in my opinion. Get some meat on there. Mm. Honestly, 
absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> this here is a traditional drink. So it's ginger. Uh, this big lumps of ginger, there's two big huge lumps of ginger in there, I don't know if you can see it. It's too hard to get out, but it's lemongrass. And it's red ginger, they call it You need jahimera, yeah? Yeah, jahimera, so it's like red ginger instead of the, the normal white ginger. Which is quite famous here for its health benefits, actually. It is beautiful. Really nice, but yeah, if you don't mind, we're gonna crack on. It's finished now guys, it is quarter to six. So you can see look the clouds, it just isn't good weather, but we're gonna head there now. We've got another two hours until we arrive. So yeah, we're probably gonna get there at night time. Then we'll find some digs tonight. I'll show you around the digs and then we'll crack on the mountain tomorrow. Hey, look at that's good digs. <laughs> Ah, this is nice, by the way. These digs are great. These are cracking. So, this accommodation for three of us cost us uh, 650,000 rupiah. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Oh, Ian, sorry. Oh, this is big. Nice big shower. Ah, oh, good, good drums. It's fine, but it's just to get your head down into it. It's nothing fancy, but it's nice. Nice enough, clean enough. Good. 650,000 beer. And it's it's nice and warm as well, which is good. That's the... Sammy's already set. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we're just going to get the head down, guys. And uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to pack the gear and head over there. At the base camp, it's quite good here. They do the same thing as I think Gunung Sumbing, where even though you've just packed your stuff, you have to empty all your gear and they count every single piece of food, water bottles, cigarette butts. And when you come back down the mountain, you have to empty all your gear again. They count all your trash to see what you've brought back and what you haven't, and then you get fined if, you, if there's like pieces of trash missing, you get fined, which is great because it stops people throwing their trash all over the mountains, which is quite common here, sadly. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get my head down because I'm knackered. Let's go. Mount Sundoro comes from the Sanskrit word Sundara, which means beautiful. The soil at the foot of the volcano is nutrient dense and fertile, which allows the farmers to produce the best organic crops. The mountain also provides many job opportunities for the local people, such as porters and mountain guides. And if you get here at the right time of year, you can see these spectacular lenticular clouds right up on the summit. Of it. 
So yeah, definitely about 30 kilos, 30, 32. nanti silakan dipahami dulu oke okay. kalau di sisi sini atas penanggung jawab kelompok bawah nama anggotanya hmm. ini diisi sesuai data yang jenengan oke okay. terus belakangnya ada lagi perlengkapan jalan juga bagi badan hmm. ini nanti dijumlah sesuai barang bawaan jenengan oke okay. terus nanti perbekalan yang gak cantum di sini boleh tulis di bawah sini so guys we're gonna head up now to just not quite post two but just before post two the guys have said we're saving ourselves about a three to four hour walk <laughs> One thing I have learned about Indonesian mountains, right, and, and I mean this, so please take it seriously if you want to come, is if you get to base camp, right, and there is an option to take what they call OJEC, it means a motorcycle to a certain point, sometimes you say, oh yeah, post one, post two, whatever, there's a reason why they offer that, right, so take it, it's probably saving you hours of like horrific trekking and different routes, that's kind of pointless because it's the trek that is to get you to the mountain it's not as if you're really cutting a lot of the mountain itself out it's just the walk to get there so definitely take it up i used to think it was lazy i used to be like nah i'll do the full experience but i learned the hard way take the more bike Okay, so this is half. Ini setengah lewat. Setengah lewat ini. Yeah. So this is halfway. This is. So we've still got another good bit to go. Thank God. Woo. I mean, I thought this was far enough, but if there's another bit to go, I will take that all day long. That's quite steep. So another good thing about taking the bikes now it isn't just to be lazy, although I am enjoying it. It's because uh, there is a bad storm coming in, so we really are trying to get to the camping area as fast as we can. From where we get dropped off, it's still going to take us another three hours to get there by walking, so yeah, that's why we were like, yeah, definitely take the bike. This is the oh sorry sorry. This is the final spot, you dumb. Oh great! So if you have a wee bit here, you can make a fire. 
get some shelter from the rain. Yeah, in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, okay. So now just waiting for Sammy boy. And then we will pay the guys. So the price is 40,000, yeah? In Bat Polo Ribo? Bat Lima. In Bat Lima? Bat Lima, yeah. 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 Jadi, the harganya in Bat Lima Ribo per orang, guys. Kalau mau yang dua, ya. Ada dua pilihan. Yang sedikit lebih dekat, yang pertama, dan yang kedua. Langsung digendong atau gimana nih? Oh, iya, iya. Sini aja. Oke, terus kan. Silahkan turun Kepanjangan So the guy just told us earlier So from here we've got another 2 to 3 hours until we reach the campsite After that, there's two campsite options apparently What we've been told so far You can camp at post 3 and camp at post 4 however we've been told excuse me at post 4 there's loads of wild boars and obviously I've slept in mountains like right beside wild boars before and it was a nightmare because any the tiniest scent of food they will just destroy your tent they, they can literally grab your bag and run with it they're so strong so it is a disaster so I think we will just go to post 3 and, uh, and then the next day from post three up to the summit is about another three to four hours, the guy said, so we're gonna crack on. Post two already because we cheated and brought the bikes. Yes, let's go. Ah, so it's closed, guys, because this is Friday. So it will probably open tonight or tomorrow, I, I would suspect tomorrow this will be full and you can buy like watermelon and all this kind of stuff. But it's quite a big base camp actually, 1980 high, my watch is the same. This is a great little track here. Look at that. You can see what we're up against here coming up. <clears throat> it's quite steep actually. It seems to be absolutely full of uh, falling down trees, surprisingly. Hey, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. If it means that there's been loads of landslides here or something But there's trees collapsed everywhere, look You can tell the locals have cleaned it all up That's the thing When you do the mountains in Indonesia It's better to just stop during the rainy season <clears throat> Which is normally, it used to be back in the day All the months that ended in burr I, October, September, etc. But it's all changed now. It usually lasts up until March, sometimes even the end of March. <clears throat> um, and it is very dangerous 
really dangerous. We've done a couple of mountains during the rainy season, like at the height of the rainy season, and we've instantly regretted it, to be honest with you. The paths just turn into absolute rivers. But I know we're still in the rainy season now, but we just don't really have any option for content. When I make different content, nobody watches it. I mean, sometimes you go to like really beautiful little singular islands. Like they're just like little sandbanks, you know, they're absolutely phenomenal. But nobody watches it, so it's a lot of time and a lot of money. <clears throat> Not that I make money on YouTube anyway, because I don't. Only sponsorship, I make money on sponsors. But when it comes to YouTube AdSense, it's just a total flop. And it's because I'm in Indonesia, which I think is very unfair. Um, if people watch my videos from the UK, you get like £3 to £5. If someone watches my video in Indonesia, you get like six cents. So it's ridiculous. I think that is really unfair. So YouTube, if you're watching, screw the nut. But hey, this track's beautiful, like. It reminds me of something like the, the Bloody Secret Garden. Remember that? When I was a kid, I remember watching a movie called The Secret Garden. It reminds me of that. But yeah, this is our first mountain back since October. I'm feeling okay, actually. I thought, touch wood, I know we've just started. I know that. And I know we cheated by getting the motorbike. But I'm still feeling fine. I am sweating and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm not exhausted or anything. Just heavy breathing because my bag's like 32 kilograms. It's the water that's the heaviest, honestly. I would rather take too much water than not enough. We got tricked a couple of times being told, oh yeah, yeah, you can fill water here. So we never brought enough. Well, we brought enough to get us to where we could refill water. And then you get there and something has messed it up that there's no water supply. Or they'll be like, yeah, you can refill water, but this is the summer. You can only refill water in the rainy season. And you're like, well, why wouldn't you say that? That's not what you said when we were down the bloody hill, you know what I mean? So, um, I've learnt from my lessons, <laughs> from the sheer pain of not bringing enough water, and we don't get it anymore. So I would rather bring tons, and my bag's heavy, but with water. Whew, I'm gonna turn this off. Crack on lads, because look, we're step. It's all rocks. It's a bit nails. Waiting for Bang Sammy. Oh, this is hot. Terrible idea wearing this. Any budging your jelly bang at Sumpa. But night gun. Did that be so absorb? Did that be so cring chipat? Say up or not, Pakaragi. Say Pakir at a tas, beda, eh, at a tas. At a chaos beda, beda, did a lamp tas near. And this is a ganty, he needs Sumpa, jelly bang at guys. Tajam, some more. Tajam, Basa, Susa. How kita bikin content seru banget. Gak ada yang nonton. Kalau saya tulis judul ini gunung paling cantik di dunia. Gak ada yang nonton. Ini hantu. Ini angkar. Wah sejuta nonton. Kan? Tapi gak ada banyak yang tanya sebelumnya. Saya pernah ada experience hantu-hantu pocong-pocong ke ada saya gak ada bang tapi kalau kamu ada tulis di komen ya di mana area di mana dan saya akan cari nanti untuk konten bagus ini bang Sam aman Sam boy aman terus dulu ya ya So I don't know how far we've got left now guys to post 3 but I don't think it's going to be too far. I can hear people talking over in that direction so hopefully, the, hopefully that's the camp area not just passing by. 
Let's crack on because yeah, time is against us. It's still early. It's only like nine, ten in the morning, but um, the weather is closing in just now. It's what Indonesians call grimis. It's like it's not quite rain, but it's rain from fog. If you know what I mean, it's really, really light, um, as we call it in Scotland, that wet rain. And uh, yeah, just we just want to crack on and get the tent set up before the storm comes in tonight. So let's crack on. Jangan lupa jangan buang. Bawa aja pulang. Where you from? Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands on Scotland. Right, right. 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 Thunder and lightning, so there's a storm here for the next two days. 